I do want to give a welcome to you, and thank you so very much for allowing me to be a part of this day and the students' lives. It's really been a great afternoon, and it's fun to be able to make music with these, these students. We talked a lot about what it means to sing together and why it's important that we're singing together. And it reminded me of last night. You probably were aware that the national anthem at the uh, World Series game was kind of messed up. The singer messed up the words. And, and here we are reminded once again the purpose of the national anthem is to draw attention to the glory of our country and to the, the love that we have for America. But so many times we sing the national anthem in a way that calls attention to the singer, calls attention to a performance. And now this is not on the program, and I haven't announced it to anybody, but we're going to stand together, all of us, and we're going to sing the national anthem with the right words. Can you do that? Your, your, your parents and grandparents don't seem all that enthused. <laughs> you know, the most important singing that we do at any time in our lives is the singing that we do together. That's not the culture that we live in. It's usually American Idol, somebody taking the star in the ball. But my mission in life is to get people to sing. People like you. So are you willing? Yeah. Let's sing. So I will get you started, and then I will allow you to take this, the song. Oh, this is
think is so interesting. It's called Cindy. And uh, they found at least 190 verses for that song. And we thought we'd only do it for two. <laughs> but actually, it, it were, really those verses were not written down, but so much they were improvised. And so it would almost be like a game. You'd get together and you'd start singing. And uh, some per person would jump in and make up a verse. And another person would make up a verse. And it was all about this Cindy. And uh, so some of them were about how they wanted to get to know Cindy sometimes. But it's, it's quite the song. They call that a frolic song. These uh, last set of songs are patriotic songs, also that come from our history. The first one, Yankee Doodle, I can have to say something about this too. Uh, you know, it was written by a, a British major during the French and Indian War. And he wrote it to make fun of the Americans. You know, the British, they were all dressed up in their nice red uniforms and were all prim and proper and they were well trained and they marched so proper and everything. And the colonials, well, they were dressed in buckskin, coonskin caps, and they were just, you know, kind of ordinary. So this major made up the song, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Well, a doodle was a simpleton, a doofus. And so he actually wrote it to make fun of the Americans. But during the Revolutionary War, the Americans took that song the British wrote to make fun of them, and they made that a song to be proud of, that they were Americans. Isn't that interesting? It started out with that history. And, uh, and I just told the kids earlier, I said, you know, sometimes that's how we live our lives, too. So sometimes we're kind of underappreciated and made fun of, and we, we have to kind of grasp that and make that and own that so that we can overcome, just like the Americans did in the revolutionary times. So here's this closing songs of the American uh, history, the Yankee Doodle Dandy, uh, America the Beautiful, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, America, and of course, the Battle of the Republic.